so this is recording. See if we can see a few deer on our way. <laughs> and this is where I saw a lot of them, right in this area right here. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, they were just, you know, kind of grazing along the side of the road. Mm. I slowed down, I rolled the window down, and I started filming, and the deer just looked at me and like, yeah, bathroom's down the road there. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to... You know, that, that's one other thing I guess it has in common. Almost every Corps of Engineering park I've ever driven into is uh -huh. deer at the entrance. Oh, really? Okay. For some reason, you know. Uh huh. Just cool. deer galore. Of course, I turned the recorder on after we passed the only deer we'll probably see, right? Well, the gate is down. Yeah, Interesting. So down. there must be somebody here. Stop here and use kiosk. Oh. Sorry about that. Well, that's okay. So the last time I was here, I didn't have to pay, so Bruce is paying. I'm going to go in and use the uh, day use area, just walk the shoreline for a few hours and see if we can't uh, get a few fish here at Still House Hollow. This is uh, just full of deer. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Amazing. Yeah. Cool. Good morning. Seems to know the, their way around here. Yeah, like I said, when I was here before, it was just packed full of deer. So the the entrance to the park where I thought we could go is closed. So we're going to have to go down by the marina. Yeah, the marina? Oh, okay. So where's that road that goes back there? Uh -huh. but we, the gate was closed, so we may have to walk this bank. What? Actually, this doesn't look like it would be bad. Not at all. Let's try it. So we can just park right down here because we got all this shoreline. Yeah. All right. So they have a nice restroom here. Again, we're going to do some bank fishing today. First cast of the day. I'm going to start out with this little popper. Not a very far cast as you pull throw into the wind, but this lake is extremely clear. So it should be interesting to see. Can't get a very far cast.
we were over there. Now we're going to walk this bank and see if we can't get out on this point here where the water's a little bit deeper. Uh, again, it's very, very clear. New area, new bank, deeper water, still clear as a bell. Let's see what happens. Hmm, how cool would it be to get up on this thing, huh? Oh, there's some fish right there on the bank. Look at that. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is some beds, bluegill beds right there, with a few bass swimming around. Oh yeah, look at the size of those two fish. Those bass right there, it's a nice fish. Let's see if I can get them to eat.
Got him. <laughs> yeah. Not bad at all. He saw that thing hit the water and immediately jumped on it. <laughs> That's funny. Two fish so far. There's some grass out here. This water is very, very clear. Uh, again, the bluegill are spawning. So there's bass around them. I'm kind of guessing they're just sitting in this grass, moving around, looking for opportunities. When they see the bait, they're pretty aggressive. I don't know if the wind was blowing, if it would make any difference. Yeah. Bluegill, huh? Yeah. Yep, that's what the bass want. That's what they want. Big branch, big log out there. There we go. Yep, there's a fish right there. Oh, had him. <laughs> Shore fishing 101. Got a $40,000 bass boat sitting in storage. Didn't bring it out because I wasn't sure about the weather. So overcast, there's a bite right there. These are bluegill hitting this bait. Next weekend, I'm coming out here for sure. I'd be fishing that dam with a jerk bait or a Senko. Nobody's over there fishing it. I know there's fish on it. I haven't met a dam yet that didn't have good bass on it. Huh? That screw lock hook? Yeah. Are you throwing a fat Senko? Yeah, that's why. It's heavier. It's when you walk on stuff that looks dry and it's not really actually dry, but it's wet. And you fall. I don't know what this is. I don't even know if it's a bass or if it's a drum. Holy shit, this thing's big. God, it's a largemouth. Wow. He smacked the shit out of that. 
Oh man, that's a good fish. Oh man. Come on back here. Gosh almighty. Oh, man. Oh, my God, that's a good fish. <laughs> How big do you think that thing is? That's got to be eight pounds. Yeah. Holy crap, I thought I had a log. <laughs> Look at the size of that thing. So, okay. All right. Gosh, I almost can't get it under the jaw. Uh, Six pounds, eight ounces. <laughs> that is a scoreable bass. That sir. is a scoreable fish. That is pretty amazing. All right. Uh, dang, I go <laughs> now you got to go get one. Make sure I get this. Go get your brother. All right, so I made a cast out there. What was it? Six pounds what? Six pounds, eight ounces. Oh, my goodness. All right. Hang on, I promise. I will put you back in the water. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Water in the grass, right? All right, so you thought you were hung up. Oh, there you go. Nice fish. Looks like the bigger ones are on the, on the inside of this point right here. All right. Good job, nice. What'd you catch that on? Uh, drop shot. Cool. Let me get a let me green, get a photo too. Green pumpkin finesse one. Yeah, hold that one up. Let me get a picture of that. All right, one, two, three. One, two, three. He might be touching too. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. He might be just a little bit lighter than two. Uh, I don't believe you. Let's weigh it. <laughs> all right so look the pattern well so far look we're up see here's the point Deep in the grass. inside off holding off the bank in grass that's where you want to be yeah i was just thinking i need to move about 20 yards down because i wonder if they're not on, a little bit closer to the edge of this point too. they could yeah keep keep walking we'll just keep walking out there You go got it all right gee did you just change the color <laughs> yeah. that's a good fish there you go there you go good job Nice. <laughs> Grab him. There you go. That's a good fish. Would you get that one on? Would you catch that one on? That green pumpkin zoom one. Beautiful. Good job. And I don't know where he did it. He threw it. Yeah, it's okay. You got the fish.
Well, I guess that explains it. There you go. Another red one. It's amazing. So how many fish would you say we ended up with total? Well, I caught five. Yeah. And let's see, you have big bass every day. I have tiny bass every day. So I head. would say I caught at least seven. Okay. Maybe, yeah. With a seven pounder. Not, not bad considering that sometimes how many we catch out of... Um, old settlers? Yeah, old settlers. Yeah. In a more confined space where they don't have a part of go. Right. But consistently these fish are bigger overall. Oh, yeah. Well, I think we found a very good fishing point. Yeah. And I would feel very confident coming back and bank fishing here again. Yes, me too. So what are you doing tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding.